Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to check the domain authority of a website. Alright, so if you want to find out how authoritative a website is and why that website is authoritative, then one of the easiest ways is to use the domain overview tool in the SEMrush SEO tool. If you haven't used SEMrush before, you can sign up for free using the link in the description below and you get a free trial of SEMrush and you're going to be able to do the analysis I'm going to do right now. So all you have to do to check the authority of any website is to open up SEMrush and then click on the domain overview tool here and add the domain name here. So let's say we are interested in nerdwallet.com which is a financial and investing website. So add the domain name and then click on search. And as you can see, this tool will give us the most important organic and SEO related metrics to this website. So we can get, we can see how much organic search traffic they get, how much paid search traffic. But what is important for us in this video is the authority score. And this score will tell you how authoritative a website is. So of course, this score will mean something if you compare it to other competitors. So if you also have a personal finance website, you can compare it to the NerdWallet authority score. And to get more information about why this website is this authoritative, you can click on this score here and you can get more information about authoritiveness related metrics in the backlink analytics tool. So as you can see, they have over 60 million backlinks, more than 150,000 referring domain, and they are ranking for more than 5.5 million keywords. So as you can see, this authority score is a new metric. And to learn more about it, I will also link this page where SEMrush explains how they calculate this authority score. As you can read here, it's a compound metric that grades the overall quality of a website or a web page. The higher the score, the more assumed weight a domain's web page outbound links to another site could have. And uh, the calculation is based on three main facets, link power, organic traffic, and spam factors. So this authority score is, is kind of different compared to the Ahrefs domain rating, which only takes into account link power. So with the authority score, SEMrush also tries to include other metrics like spam links in their analysis and then their authority score. So if you want to learn more about how it's calculated, you can check out this resource as well. But if we go back to the SEMrush tool, you can see how the authority score has changed over time. This is a kind of a new introduction in the SEMrush reporting tool, so there isn't a lot of data, but they used to have an older authority score which was calculated differently, and you can check out the development of that in the last 12 months, as you can see here. You can also see how the number of referring domains changed in the last 12 months or all time, and their number of bank links they are getting. You can also see what are the categories of the domains that are linking to nerdwallet.com. So for instance, if you are analyzing a domain and you see that they are getting a lot of domains from a niche they are not really topically related to, then it might be a sign that it's a spam domain. So you can also analyze here TLD, backlink types, link attributes, top countries, and more. So all in all, this is how to find how authoritative a website is and how you can compare it to your own website and your own competitors. If you want to try out this uh, SEMrush tool, as I mentioned, you can get a free trial by clicking the link in the description below. And you can also check out a ton of other tutorials where I talk about how to use the uh, SEMrush tools and features to get more organic SEO traffic.